What is up guys, RSC6414 here, back with another video. This time I am reviewing Superstars. Uh, there was two matches on the card, just like usual, except for last week there was three, which was a little weird, but whatever. Um, this show was, I mean, predictable is what I'll say. Were the matches bad? I wouldn't say they were bad, but would I say they were great? No, I'd say they were sort of decent, sort of like the Sin Cara Drew McIntyre matches on uh, main event. The first match we have is the Usos versus Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre of 3 and B. This match was not bad, you know, it's pretty okay, I guess. Uh, but, uh, you know, the Usos dominated most of this match, really, uh, Sort of odd how the Usos go from tag team number one contenders for the titles and then go to superstars. It's still kind of not really ringing in my head or anything that, that makes sense. But, you know, whatever. Uh, basically, the Usos, uh, at the beginning of the match, they dominate and take out the uh, 3MB. At one point in the match, they both jump over the top rope do kind of like front flips and take out all 3 and B. Then later on in the match, you have, one, uh, I think it was Jimmy Uso who delivers the Samoan backdrop on uh, one of Jinder Mahar McIntyre. I can't exactly remember at the moment, but uh, I know he does that. Then uh, they, him and Jimmy Uso get in, and they super kick Drew McIntyre. He falls down. Uh, Heath Slater gets taken out, or no, they super kick Jinder Mahal, I apologize, and then they toss Drew McIntyre over the ropes, take out Heath Slater, and then Jimmy Uso delivers the Samoan frog splash off the top rope for the one, two, three. Jimmy and Jey Uso win, again, no surprise, decent match, uh, it's whatever. Next mat, next we have some recaps from Raw, Daniel Bryan's matches, and how Ryback threw him through a table, and Cena came out and saved him. And then we had the little punk speech kind of thing uh, with Heyman on via satellite. And then that was basically it for the uh, recaps, as usual. Then we go to our final match tonight, which was a Divas match, Layla versus Alicia Fox. This match was pretty good. Uh wasn't terrible. I kind of enjoyed it. Uh thought it was better than the first match just because you weren't 100% sure who was going to win this match like you were the Usos where you were 99 point whatever percent sure the Usos would win. This you thought was more likely Layla would win but still you weren't 100% sure. Uh, Alicia Fox could always win but this match was good. You know they both showed what they had back and forth. Uh, it was probably a 10 minute match all together. But uh, basically what happens is uh, one point in the match, uh, Layla's on the top rope. Alicia Fox drop kicks her, and she takes a pretty hard fall, Layla, on the outside of the ring. Then uh, later on in the match, we have LOL, or lots of Layla, off the middle rope. And uh, she sort of hops from the middle rope to the other middle rope, and then... Uh, does a cross body, the lots of Layla cross body for a near fall on Alicia Fox. And then you have a couple, they exchange a few roll up pinfalls for near falls. And then later on the match, Layla hits her with a kick, big boot to the skull of Alicia Fox, and pins her for the one, two, three. Layla wins here, and a pretty good match. Superstars are sort of a typical superstar show, matches that really don't progress storylines. I don't know if some people even watch it anymore, but I like superstars because it gives low carder or lower tier mid card superstars or even mid card superstars a chance to win some matches and show what they have. So I look forward to it, but that's just me. But enough of me rambling on. Overall, the show was I give it a 4 out of 10. Uh, nothing great, nothing terrible, but uh, just some okay whatever matches. Hope you enjoyed my review. Check out my other videos, and uh, there will be a TNA one tonight, review tonight, and uh, subscribe. Thanks, guys.